with the Tutco control panel safely wired and ready to operate, let's look at the controls on the front of the door panel. As a reminder, in order to operate the controls on the front panel, the local switch must be engaged. Once you have confirmed the local switch is engaged, use a flathead screwdriver to turn the upper and lower safety latches a quarter turn clockwise to lock the panel. It is likely the circuit breaker is still in the off position and it may have lockout tags providing an extra layer of security. Remove those lockout tags and press the latch back into its normal position within the handle and turn the circuit breaker handle to on. The Tutco control panel features a Eurotherm temperature controller. It is set from the factory to work with Tutco heaters. Sometimes minor adjustments may be required based on your application. Refer to the Eurotherm temperature controller manual for those adjustments. The control panel features an illuminated start button, stop button, and a high temperature alarm reset button. In remote operation, the green button will illuminate when on. However, you cannot start the heater with this button if the selector switch on the inside of the control panel is set to remote. A new feature of the Tutco family of control panels is an addition of an ethernet port. The ethernet connection is routed through the panel and found on the hinge side of the control panel box. Unscrew the water resistant cap and plug in the RJ45 terminated ethernet cable. For more information regarding the temperature controller's ethernet capabilities, go to eurotherm.com.